Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us here at A Place of Faith. A Place of Faith invites and encourages all who are seeking a community to empower, support, and explore a deeper understanding of spirituality and recovery of all kinds. We join together with our family and loved ones in our journey to enlightenment and recovery and supporting one another spiritually without any judgment or prejudice. Today, we are going to be exploring and learning about the principle of contemplation as we evolve spiritually together. Please join me in prayer. Higher power, Great Spirit, all that is, we rejoice in our ability to come together, even virtually, and learn together as we explore our spirituality, as we learn about contemplation and how to use that in our evolution. God, we are grateful to be together in this moment, in this way, to learn. Thank you, God. Thank you, higher power. Amen. Whatever I decide to be The answer is you Whatever I seek Whatever the questions be So why would I fight And why would I cry And why would I work still I just open my arms and open my eyes and follow you my God until you are nearer to my heart nearer to my soul nearer to my life you never let me go oh, nearer to my heart show me what to do oh god to be nearer to you oh god to be nearer to you Whenever I hurt and whenever I fall, whenever I have lost my way, I know where to turn to you after all. You've seen me through my darkest day. There's no need to fight, no reason for shame. And finally fear is gone. I just open my arms and whisper your name. And understand that all along You are nearer to my heart Nearer to my soul Nearer to my life You never let me go Nearer to my heart Show me what to do Oh God to be nearer to you, oh God, 
God to be nearer to you. Oh my God, to be nearer to you. Isn't that a wonderful oh, concept? Today's lesson is on contemplation. Let's take a few moments to explore this concept. Contemplation. According to Wikipedia, the action of looking thoughtfully at something for a long time. Deep, reflective thought. Synonyms. Pondering. Meditation. Viewing. Observation. Inspection. Survey. Study. Some thoughts for contemplation. Aristotle said, contemplation is the highest form of activity. Hmm. Plato said, thinking, the talking of the soul with itself. I like that one, because I talk to myself all the time. Henry Ford, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you are right. Wow. I don't know if I like that one. <laughs> I really don't, because that's where I go a lot. Aristotle, again, knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Today is a great day to do some inner contemplation about the state of yourself. Spend some time today thinking about what you really want in life. Search your heart for the truest answer. Remember, you're the one that's saying what you want. You can be honest with yourself. Once you have discovered it, decide if you are willing to make it real for yourself. If the answer is yes, then trust yourself and watch the way it will be revealed to you. As we move forward in our spiritual growth, take these thoughts into contemplation. Be impeccable with your words. Don't take anything personally. You realize that everything in the world is my fault. I definitely take everything personally. I'm working on this one. Don't make assumptions. Always. Do your best. That's all that we can ask of each other and of ourselves. And now, please help me welcome Linda B. to share a principle in action. The spiritual concept of contemplation in action. You know what they say about contemplation. That's one of the gateway principles, right? I was taught contemplation 
long before I was ready to recognize I was evolving spiritually. I was still just coming off of the brink of that spiritual bankruptcy that we know in our disease and our addiction. And I was trying real hard to stay in recovery and to make right decisions. I just didn't always know what was right. They'd say, take the next right step. <laughs> and whatever step I took seemed to be the wrong one. So my sponsor at the time, who was really wonderful, told me to just sit quietly and think about both directions that seemed perfectly right to me, that seemed like, yeah, that's the way to go. And imagine what would happen if I did that. If I did whatever it was, what was the most likely thing to happen after that? And was that still good? Was that still the right idea? And once I had a clue as to what direction that decision would take me, to do the same thing with the other decision. And lo and behold, I learned to contemplate. And of course, that has evolved into some of the bigger spiritual principles. But it all started with the ability to just imagine what could happen if I went one way or another. And that's your principle in action. I will leave this world as it is, go inside to find my God. I will leave this world as it is, go inside to find my God. I will leave this world as it is, go inside to find my God. I will leave this world as it is, go inside to find my God. Inside there is peace, inside there is joy, inside there is more than enough. Inside there is peace, inside there is joy, inside there is sacred love. I will leave this day as it is, go inside to find my God. I will leave this day as it is, go inside to find my God. Inside there is peace, inside there is joy, inside there is more than enough. Inside there is peace, inside there is joy, inside there is sacred love. I will leave this life as it is, go inside to find my God. 
I will leave this life as it is, go inside to find my God. I'll go inside to find my God. Go inside to find my God. Good afternoon. My name is Judy, and I'm bringing you the message today. And the song that Jody just sang, Go Inside to find my God is so appropriate with what I want to share with you today. You came into recovery and one of the first things you learned was to turn your life over to the power greater than yourself, that your way wasn't working. Some of you chose your 12-step group, others chose a sponsor, Others found a relationship with a higher power. Today, as we've moved through the steps, my message focuses on step 11, to where your relationship with your higher power, and I choose to call my higher power God, has developed. And it is strongly excuse me, it is sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understand God, praying only for the knowledge of God's will for us and the power to carry that out. That is step 11. And as the mystic Thomas Merton says of step 11, it's the emphasis of opening to God's will. The will of God is not a fate to which we must submit, but a creative act in our life that produces something absolutely new, something unforeseen by the laws and established patterns. God wants to know you deeper, each of us, and God knows us well, knows every breath we take. The joy of getting to know God deeper is that you get to recognize that more and more and more in your own life. It's an awareness that will take you beyond your wildest imagination. God wants us to go deeper into him. It's not just a matter of all the prayer and study you've done which is so essential. You need that as the foundation to go into a place of where all you want is just to seek God, the allness of God. Who is this God? Who is this higher power? What part does this play in my life, in my recovery? And to get there, It's a matter of taking risk for God. How far you want to go with this is your choice because there are no limitations. There's no limitations whatsoever. If you think you have hit, you have hit the maximum, are you going to be humbled? Believe me, there is so much, there are no limits. There's no limits to what you can have, what you can experience in learning to let go and go within. God wants you to know who, what, and where God is. One of the best ways and the easiest ways is to go into meditation, to go with not your needs and your desires, but go with an empty heart that just says, fill me, 
with whoever you are, whatever you are, and wherever you are. Take that. Take that into your time of quietness, and you will learn a level and a relationship with your God, with your higher power, that you have never known before. You have come so far in your recovery. You have changed your life. You have grown. You now have a job. You now serve others. You now have relationships. Your life has been turned upside down. You have been given a second chance or maybe a third chance. God's never going to quit on you. Don't quit on yourself. You've gone through the steps and you've reached step 11 where it is to go deeper and deeper and deeper into that relationship. You've come so far and there is so much further and so much more to life. It takes you taking risk to let go, to surrender more. And as I shared, when you take your quiet time to contemplate, to know, and to go deeper, go with a heart that seeks only to know God and listen in the stillness and listen to what is shared with you, what your next step is, what my next step is, to allow the manifestations to come out in your life. These are your messages for the world. These are the messages you can take to your brothers and sisters who are screaming for recovery, are hurting because they're in their addictions. They want what you have. They want you to show them the way. You have that power within you. As you take this time now to go quietly into meditation, I pray that you go with such an empty heart. Allow God to fill it, to fill it with knowledge of God, who God is, and what God has for you. The purpose will be shown to you. Your life here on this earth was made to manifest the will of God, to show the world what there is, that there's no limits on what you can do. As you go into the quietness, take that thought or no thought and allow it to be filled with a glory so incredible that it is beyond anything you have ever known.
as you bring yourself back to your reality you have the opportunity to take your gifts the gifts that God has given you to your other brothers and sisters who are in recovery and share with them this relationship you have and that it's there for them also how well does God know you you and all of us are the object of his attention every moment of every day of your life he knows every breath you take and every hair on your head you are the light you are the light to your brothers and sisters serve your community well and take your message to them and so it is amen wow thank you so much judy g for a wonderful incredible example of recovery of spirituality of everything we stand for here at place of faith that was that was really wonderful i also want to thank our entire worship team uh, those you see and those you don't today working with us we have of course judy g and we have Patricia, we have Jody, we have Phil, we have Bob. You don't get to see everybody, but it takes a whole team to put this together for you, to bring it to you every week. One of the great things that we get to do in recovery as we develop spiritually is to be of service to the people around us to be a liability or an asset instead of a liability to help where we can help. And right now there are so many opportunities for us to give and to help. And it can be anything. It can be holding people in prayer. It can be calling people and just being there by phone. It can be attending a meeting online, even when you don't need a meeting. Because when you needed one, somebody was there for you. And it's an opportunity to pay forward what we can't possibly pay back. Here locally in East County, there's a couple of major needs that a lot of us can help with. The Salvation Army of El Cajon is running a food bank and trying to make sure that people in need have food to eat. They need your donations. They prefer a monetary donation if you can give it. If not, when you're shopping, pick up a little extra and bring it to them. And they'll make sure that we're feeding our neighbors. Also, the San Diego Blood Bank is in need of blood, all kinds of blood. If you are recovering or recovered from uh, COVID-19, they are especially interested in you and your plasma, you could be a part of the cure. You could be a part of salvation, right, for this virus. Or you can just save a few lives with your blood. Either way, it's worth doing. We want to work with you and your organization. A place of faith can come into your uh, sober living, your program, your um, convention center, anywhere you need us to be, we are able and willing to travel. We can take all precautions, we're really good at that, and make sure that we're working to protect you 
and to help you as you develop spiritually. You can contact us at a place of faith at zohomail.com. You can connect with us at, on Facebook. We're I, a place of faith on Facebook, and you can reach us at a place of faith at zohomail.com. I feel like I've said that before. Thank you for your donations, your tithes, and your support. You can send money to us in so many different ways to help support us here at A Place of Faith. You can send a check to Unity of El Cajon, our parent company, at 311 Highland Avenue, El Cajon, California, 29-2020, or visit the website and use the donut, donate button button. It says donate butter. Um, the website for Unity is www.unityofelcajon.org. You can also donate via credit card. Contact the church at 619-579-9586. Just make sure however you donate, however you give, you make note that it goes to help support a place of faith. And next, we are going to have our closing song with our wonderful Jody, followed by the Saint Francis, the prayer of Saint Francis, with Patricia. Thanks so much for joining us. <laughs> my decision It's up to me to give of my heart Love is my decision And no one else can tell me to start And once I decide to change my mind God will show me how Love is my decision My decision right here and now Love is my decision it's up to me to stand on that bridge. Love is my decision, and no one else can make me forgive. And once I decide to change my mind, God. Show me how Love is my decision It's my decision right here and now My decision right here and now It's my decision right here Did you get the theme for today? Love. Right here, right now. Please join me in prayer. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. 
O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed week. We love you. Here at A Place of Faith, we want you to know that you're not alone. We know how challenging these times are. We want you to know we're all in this together, doing the best that we can, where we are, with what we have. Reaching out and asking for assistance isn't always easy. It takes courage and strength. We understand this struggle as well. Below you will find a list of local resources that are here to assist those in need. If you have an emergency, please dial 911. You are helped in mind, body, and spirit are very important to us. Blessings.